After rescuing the Emperor from Shun An, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Xu Cheng. His control of the revered Emperor of the long reigning Han Dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself Emperor, basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zhang. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Xu a traitor and begins his own campaign against him. It seems that Yan province is on its way to reclaiming its former glory. The confusion caused by Lu Bu's invasion also seems to have subsided sooner than expected. This too must be due to the glory of the Emperor. I agree that the Emperor is somewhat responsible, but your brilliant idea to have soldiers tend the fields in times of peace is the real reason, Master Cao Cao. I agree. Everybody looks so happy when they're tending to the fields. Cao Cao, it seems your reputation is growing. We have men from across the land hoping to join our cause. Cao Ren is tending to them now. Excellent news! It's about time people learn just how great our lord really is. About that. There is something you should know, my lord. Liu Bei has been spotted within the group. Apparently, he was driven from Shu province by Lu Bu. It appears he is hoping to rally his troops here and enlist us to take on Lu Bu with him. Liu Bei. Shun Wu, what do you think we should do? Liu Bei is a man driven by emotion, not reason. I do not think you and he would get along. Master Shun Yo is not wrong, but Liu Bei is extremely popular with the common people. If he was in your army, that popularity would rub off on you, my lord. It is not in our present interest to go against the will of the people. Conversely, by taking Liu Bei in, we can demonstrate your greatness to the entire land. Huh. I think we should go with Guo Xia's suggestion. I disagree, Cao Cao. Like Shun Wu says, Liu Bei and us are like fire and water. We need to deal with him before he is able to gain any more power. Yes. Liu Bei may have fought for Tao Qian against us in Shu province. However, he has no real talent to fear. We can simply use his charisma to our advantage. Besides, if we make Liu Bei an ally, that means we will also gain the services of his sworn brothers. I have made up my mind. Is that understood? Yes, my lord. I shall dutifully carry out your orders. Shahodun, I am going to meet with Liu Bei. I want you to set up the meeting for me. Very well. Once you've made up your mind, you're not the type to listen to further discussion. Tianwei, Shu Chu, I want you to keep a close eye on Liu Bei's men for us. Master Cao Cao, mm -hmm. why are you being so kind to me now? We once faced each other on the field of battle. The only one I was fighting was Tao Jian. I have nothing against you. If I killed everyone who opposed me, 
there would be none left in the land. That would be a waste, especially for those with talent. However... If you, like me, have all the makings of a true hero, then perhaps you are one as well. Forgive me. But... a hero? As you can see, I'm just a man who's frightened by lightning. <laughs> Liu Bei, I do hope that we can both achieve what we are aiming for. You wouldn't be trying to hide your evil deeds behind the cloak of your lord's kindness and generosity, would you? You're the ones who aren't being honest. You take our brother as a hostage, and now you're trying to use us to do your dirty work! Stop it, Zhang Fei! Try to play nice, Dion Wei. Sorry to keep you waiting, my brothers. I'm grateful for your generosity, Master Cao Cao. I promise to return the troops you graciously allowed me to borrow. For now, though, we must take our leave. My lord, Master Zhang Cho has offered his unconditional surrender and is requesting an audience with Lord Cao Cao. I see. I shall go there at once. My lord, are you sure it's safe? You can't just venture into enemy territory so easily. It is clear that my strength easily surpasses that of Zhang Qiu. It is only logical for him to surrender. Well then, we'll be there to support you, Lord Cao Cao. Please give us a little time to get ready. No. You do not need to accompany me this time. Having the two of you behind me is likely to scare off Zhang Jiu. The time draws near when I will need to face Yuan Shao. We must secure the Central Plains before that happens. If Zhang Jiu is truly willing to surrender quietly, that makes it easier for us. That is why I have to go alone. Do you really think Lord Cao Cao will be okay on his own? I'm worried about him, Dian Wei. Yeah, me too. All right, let's quietly follow him from a distance. Besides, I'd go crazy if I was forced to just sit here and wait. But Lord Cao Cao said not to follow him. What if he gets mad at us? Well, the two of us might stick out a bit, but I think one of us ought to be fine. All right, Choo Choo, stay here and hold down the fort. Master Cao Cao, I appreciate your understanding of this matter. Do not mention it. I shall personally guarantee your safety, Master Zheng Chiu. Ah, I am relieved to hear it. Now, my servant Jia Xu has prepared a special banquet to be held in your honor. Curse you, Zheng Chiu! My lord! Dian Wei, what are you doing here? <laughs> Sorry about that. I kind of decided to disobey your orders. It's my duty to protect you no matter what. Now get out of here while you still can! Damn it. He brought a guard with him. Everybody, surround Cao Cao. Don't let him get away! 
I shall escape through the East Gate and make my way to Shuchang. I am counting on you, Dian Wei. Leave it to me! Xiao Hu Doom can yell at me all he wants when we get back. Myself. Forgive this failure. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. This is right about the time Jia Xu told me. Everyone,
If I am defeated, the archers will be unable to move. Come, men, fire at will. We must ensure that this is where they breathe their last. cannot be stopped. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. What? Lord Jung Shu has been defeated? Retreat! Retreat!
Young Cho, forgive me. Z, Z, I was Z. unable to complete your orders. My ambition cannot be stopped. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Report! We made it through the gate. Hurry and escape to the east. Now we can reach Su Chang. Just a little more, and we can all escape. Fitting a true so, warrior of the Three Kingdoms. for last. Let's welcome our special guest, shall we? Or everybody, eliminate Cao Cao. the heavens to face me in battle. My ambition cannot be stopped. Hmm. I wasn't expecting to be defeated here. This was supposed to be the end for Cao Cao. My lord, you've almost reached the exit. Keep running until you're home free!
good way. No, Tian Wei. Don't make that face, my lord. Now, go on. As long as the commander gets away, I win. My lord, Chu Chu, I leave the rest to you. Cao Cao, you're all right. Forgive me. I took Zhang Chiu's surrender at his word, but it was merely a ploy devised by his strategist, Jia Xu. Dian Wei took it upon himself to hold off the enemies in the castle, so that I could escape. He was already badly injured when I left. In fact, it may be too late to save him. However, I still have to try. I understand. Let's make our way to the castle as quickly as possible. Please wait a moment. We are facing a strategist who managed to catch even Master Cao Cao off guard with his trap. It is dangerous to simply rush in there. He may be expecting Master Cao Cao to return to the castle and prepared another trap in response. In that case, how can we save Master Tian Wei? We launch a feint to draw the enemy's attention and use that opportunity to see what they're planning. I wonder what the enemy strategist is up to. If we can learn the overall framework, we'll know how to make our move. Very well. I shall leave the details to you, Guo Xia. Everybody, we must hurry to Wen Castle. use the decoy unit to draw the enemy in. Meanwhile, I will use that time to suss out their strategy. So this strategist is the one that gave Master Cao Cao such trouble. I am looking forward to turning the tables on him. yourself too hard, Cao Cao. Amazing, Uncle. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. surrounded by the enemy. 
just when I need to deliver this information to Master Guo Jia too. Let the enemy scouts escape! So. The word of our plans gets out! My ambition cannot be stopped! Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition! Incredible! It's easy to see why you're the one in charge. Truly great fighting, my lord. I can only dream of obtaining such results. I didn't think I was going to make it out of there. Now I can deliver this message to Master Guo Jia. What am I to do? Hmm. Excuse me? How about that? Hmm... Right you are. <laughs> Shall we? I'm deserving of the harshest punishment. I shall carry it out myself. Uh, uh, our allies are attacking us! It's a rebellion! <gasps> Led by Master Eugene! You're asking me why I'm doing this? These people are thieves and need to accept responsibility for their actions. Those who disturb the order and discipline of our ranks must be punished. The fact that we are on the battlefield changes nothing. The necessary punishments have been meted out. Now we can resume our advance and attempt to make up for lost time. It wasn't a betrayal? Still, that was pretty frightening for me. Such a simple feat. You are amazing, Uncle. Defensive position. We have Shoot the enemy out of Wad Castle. Put on a real violent display. Right, yeah. Go wild and draw the enemy away from the castle. 
to aid Lord Dion Wei. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. Hey! Men outside are in trouble. Why won't Lord Jia Shu let us fight? We're not leaving our allies in danger. I'll go out and defeat Zhao Zhao's forces. Acting as our decoy so our plan could succeed. Why did I agree to this again? My ambition cannot be stopped. You are amazing, Uncle. I've done as Master Jashu yeah. asked. Time to retreat. We've taken down a major enemy. Now they should be focused on us. We have successfully lured the enemy. Now, hold the line until we get the order. Filling my ambition. Truly great fighting, my lord. I can only dream of obtaining such results. forces must have sniffed us out. Men, we have to keep the fire attack unit safe. land. Oh, 
Here, the enemy strategist must be as cunning as Master Jashu. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Truly great fighting, my lord. I can only dream of obtaining such results. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. Here. South Cao intends to cut off supplies to Master Zhang Qiu, I see. If these supplies are lost, one castle will not last. We must repel the enemy.
Incredible! It's easy to see why you're the one in charge. Oh! 
in charge. forces were so mighty. Even as my enemy, I can have nothing but respect. Ah, all the supplies for Master Zhang Chiu, Master Liu Biao. So sorry. Incredible! Yeah. It's easy to see why you're the one in charge. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. A separated and pillaged one of Liu Biao's bases. Our supply lines have been cut off? <sighs> then this will be a hard battle.
impressive, cousin. They truly are the one that will conquer this land. Reporting! Lord Dion Wei is fighting at one castle. There is still hope despite the circumstances. Knowing Dion Wei, I should not have expected anything less. A number of enemies have made it inside. That is rather careless of them. Are they up to something? Or perhaps they are simply... Either way, we cannot make our move until we deal with the enemy. They are small in number, so Master Huchir and I can handle them. To defeat Cao Cao! The sheer shame of it! You must have angered the heavens to face me in battle. I wasn't expecting to find two such monsters in Cao Cao's army. I have no choice but to surrender. It looks like we've taken care of the bulk of the enemy forces. Now it's time for me to really make my presence felt. My ambition cannot be stopped. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition! Truly great fighting, my lord. I can only dream of obtaining such results. You are amazing, uncle. I'm not finished yet. I'll use every last bit of strength I have to protect my lord! Shoes plan. No! Defend that fire attack unit! Yay!
bio. I failed to protect my lord. I should be ashamed to call myself his bodyguard. Incredible! It's easy to see why you're the one in charge. We couldn't defend them. Now Master Joshu's plan is finished. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Yeah. more than we can chew. I failed to protect my lord. I should be ashamed to call myself his bodyguard. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition! Kay! Maybe we've bitten off more than we can chew. Defensive positions! Zhao <laughs> Zhao's forces have made it all the way here? Incredible! That strong? Everyone, stand your ground! We will use the power of our cavalry to bury Zhao Zhao's forces for good! Thank you! <laughs> My lord! You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms! Cousin, you truly are the one that will conquer this land. My ambition cannot be stopped. 
You are amazing, Uncle. This is the end for me, Joshu. Huh. My lord is really quite something. I'm glad I was able to serve him. Uh. Now, take defensive positions. Master Cao Cao accepted Zhang Xiu's surrender. Your safety was assured. So why did you try and assassinate our lord? It is the tendency of the victor to rest on his laurels after a battle is won. I simply saw an opening for our side and exploited it. Cao Cao is nervous in regards to his upcoming showdown with Yuan Shao, no? As such, he immediately accepted our surrender. Surprisingly so, in fact. I never thought that I'd be able to take advantage of the situation to overcome such insurmountable odds. Of course, it mattered not in the end. Yes. It was only thanks to the efforts of Master Dian Wei that Master Cao Cao was able to escape. However, things could have easily gone quite differently. Where's Dian Wei? He is at peace now. Master Cao Cao, I will resist you no longer. You have bested us. I am ready to meet my fate, whatever you may deem it to be. In that case, Jiaxu, I want you to join me. W wait a minute, my lord. You're planning to let him live? Even after all he's done? If anybody should be punished, it should be me for falling victim to this trap and losing Dian Wei. Jiaxu's talent as a strategist, the skill of Zheng Shou's men to execute the plot. In my opinion, that is something to be rewarded, not punished. Jiaxu, is it possible that you foresaw this very outcome? <laughs> I wonder. At any rate, I appreciate your rather generous punishment, Master Cao Cao. Guo Jia, I want you and Shun Yo to keep an eye on Jia Xu, at least for a while. I may covet his talent, but that does not mean we can trust him yet. I must do all that I can to quickly subdue the Central Plains and prepare for Yuan Shao's move south. Our next step is to advance on Shu Province and capture Xia Pi. That means we must face Lu Bu himself. Everyone, begin making the necessary preparations. Uh, I'm sorry, Dian Wei. If only I'd been there, we could have prevented all this. Xu Zhu, you can't blame yourself for this. You simply followed your orders out there. No, the responsibility for this falls squarely on my shoulders. Do you suppose Dian Wei would approve of me turning Jia Xu to our side? Lord Cao Cao. Dian Wei was not the type to hold a grudge. Cao Cao, I imagine you know that better than anybody. Yeah, he's right. I'm sure he's smiling to think it's just the type of move you'd make. Although, I imagine he must be a bit lonely right now. My lord, what do you say we raise a toast in his honor? Indeed. Tonight, let us celebrate Dian Wei's life as we mourn his death.
Master Cao Cao, you must excuse this sudden visit. My sworn brother, Lu Bei, is in Xiao Pei, which has come under siege from Lu Bu's forces. I wish to request that you loan me some of your troops to repel Lu Bu. Hmm. So Lu Bu's finally making his move. He'd be better off staying in Sha Pi. There is merit in us eliminating Lu Bu from the equation. However, if we move now, Liu Biao may strike us from behind. Shun Yo, tell me what you think. Lu Bu is currently the only active threat to us. Plus, there are no other forces that will go to his aid. We should take out Lu Bu before we face Yuan Shao. However, a siege will take time. If somebody else uses that opportunity to make their move, we'll be in trouble. In that case, how about this strategy? We dam the Yishui and Sushui rivers that run near Shapi, inundating the castle with water. That is a brilliant idea. We will channel the water into the castle at Shapi. We simply need to seize control of the floodgates to make it happen. Very well. We shall proceed with your plan. Begin making preparations for the flood attack. This is our best chance to slay the demon Lu Bu. I must return to Xiao Pei with all haste. Excuse me! It must have been difficult for him to break through Lu Bu's siege, let alone make it all the way here. Yet now, he looks to do it all over again for his master's sake. He uses his considerable might to fight for what he believes to be just. He is truly worthy of the moniker, God of War. Huh. It was his actions that led to Lu Bu's rise in the first place. That's rather bitter of you, Shahudun. Although I feel I could utilize him properly if he were under my employ. Don't you agree? You're still hanging on to that dream? He will never leave Liu Bei's side. You heard him yourself. No. I suppose not. However, it is clear that the lowly Liu Bei does not deserve a warrior such as Guan Yu. The best way to bring down Sha Pi Castle is with a flood attack. I am confident that Master Guo Jia and I will be successful. A flood attack? Guo Jia and Shun Yo are brilliant indeed. Everyone! This is our chance to rid ourselves of Lu Bu for good! Straw Shoemaker. Recently, I've been making more mats than shoes, though. We got kicked out of Shopee for a start. So all the rough sleeping means mats are more useful. But I can't match Lord Leo Bay's mats either. They are so warm and so light. I've felt the greatness of Lord Leo Bay once again. How does he do it? Every night, I lie awake wondering just what it is I lack. Listen to this, about Lord Cao Cao. He really loves officers who fight well, especially the finely bearded Lord Guan Yu. He has no time for mighty Lord Lu Bu, however. Strength is nothing if it won't follow orders. A collector knows what he likes, I guess. Hold on, Lord Cao Cao. I understand your feelings, I really do. Wanting what other people have is natural. Yeah.
afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. The enemy is far from home, relying on their supply. You are off their lifeline. The enemy is certain to target our supply lines. We must make sure that their defenses are intact. I have been defeated. With Xu Chung's defense, I cannot afford to lose this battle. Cao Cao's forces are! I couldn't do a thing against them! My ambition cannot be stopped! Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition! Magnificent fight! I'm glad you're not my enemy! Wow! That was awesome! I get worked up just watching you. Ooh. Reporting. Our supplies have been secured. Now we can march without worry. Okay. Our preparations are complete. I'll go on ahead to aid with Xu Chung's defense.
Defending Ding Tao. I cannot afford to fall in battle to you here. Contact with the supply unit. Now we can attack without worry. Okay, that takes care of my duties here. Now, to move on to Ding Tao. No, it is an honor. Mission. An amazing performance. I'm glad we're on the same side.
of you who support Lu Vu know that to oppose me is to invite death upon yourselves. See? That's the arrogance. Everyone, this is the final battle. Fight your hardest! See? See? I have no energy left to fight. I surrender. Tie me up, I won't resist. Further resistance is futile. I'm surrendering to you now. Do with me as you will. I'm finished. I won't resist anymore. Do what you will with me. Everyone, pour into the castle. Take care that you're not swept away by the water, though. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. What? Why is the gate opening? Cao Cao's forces have attacked? It's time to take the attack to the enemy. Forward!
I claim this area as my own. Think. I'd say we look just like Lu Bu's soldiers. Do not worry. We look like Lu Bu's men. Lord Cao Chiu, let's get the supplies. You're Lu Bu's people. I suppose you're here to beg for my help again. My lord, how should we answer? What is your response? I will let our men know. So what is it you want this time? Soldiers? Provisions? So, how should we reply? Please. Make a decision! Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. That is most unsatisfactory. What of the agreement we reached regarding the marriage between my son and Lu Bu's daughter? Has Lu Bu mentioned that? So, how should we reply? Please, make a decision! Hmm, I don't like the sound of that. That is most unsatisfactory. Are you sure there are no signs of rebellion within your ranks? I can't risk helping you if there are any murmurings of discontent. Ah, that was a mistake. You and Shu's eyes are full of suspicion. I see. So that's what you're after. You may say you need provisions, but it's not as if my forces have any to spare, you know? Ah, that was a mistake. You and Shu's eyes are full of suspicion. I see. So that's what you're after. Hmm. Very well. I will give you some provisions. But make sure you don't forget the marriage talks we agreed to. Okay, we've got their provisions. Everything is going just like Master Jia Xu planned. Lord Cao Chou, the supplies are already on their way to Xu Cheng and Ding Tao. My lord. Such a simple feat. You are amazing, Uncle.
must be targeting the floodgates to launch a flood attack against us. I cannot allow that to come to pass. I cannot allow them to interfere with our strategy. I must hurry on ahead. I don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done. Leaving this place undefended is dangerous. So I shall see to its defense. Great fighting, my lord. I can only dream of obtaining such results. I cannot believe that I was bested. Even after giving it my all, you have earned my respect. I shall surrender to you quietly. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. I am forced to retreat. I have just seen how formidable his might truly is. They must be targeting the floodgates to launch a flood attack against us. I cannot allow that to come to pass. I cannot allow them to interfere with our strategy. I must hurry on ahead. So, leaving this place undefended is dangerous. I shall see to its defense. It's time to take the attack to the enemy. Forward! The most impressive display of might. I shall do what I can to match it. I cannot believe that I was bested. Even after giving it my all, you have earned my respect. I shall surrender to you quietly. Master Guogia, we completely destroyed this floodgate. Yes, that is wonderful news. It looks like I accomplished my duty admirably. Okay, that takes care of things here. Now, to meet up with Master Cao Cao and the others. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition! Truly great fighting, my lord. I can only dream of obtaining such results.
South South. Everybody, prepare to storm the castle. I am interested to see what this master strategist actually looks like. Lord Dion Wei is fighting at one castle. There is still hope despite the circumstances. Knowing Dion Wei, I should not have expected anything. Begin moving towards Shapi Castle. We will meet up with our allies on the front lines and slay Lu Bu. from the ramparts. Ah! Water! I hadn't thought of water. We must ensure that each unit regroups at once. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land.
It's time to take the attack to the enemy. Forward! Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me! This position. Do not allow a single enemy through. You are a true warrior of the three kingdoms. You can't do anything about this water attack. We should surrender to Cao Cao. Lubu is without justice, and Lubu's army is without bravery. I wish to join Cao Cao. Lubu is simply pathetic. Despite all of his strength, he was unable to win the hearts of his retainers. With you officers on my side, the foundation for my ambition has been solidified. Now, throw open the gates and welcome your new ruler. Fulfilling my ambition. Truly great fighting, my lord. I can only dream of obtaining such results. Such results. Forces have infiltrated the castle. Master Lubu, I suggest a plan to deal with them. I do not need a plan to crush insects. I will just stop on whoever I see. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Great fighting, my lord. I can only dream of obtaining such results. Yeah. 
cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Such results. single enemy through. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land.
Fighting, my lord. I can only dream of obtaining such results. Nope. You stand before me. You have courage. Let me go! You impudent maggots! How dare you! Place roots on the mighty Lubu. My ambition cannot be stopped. Incredible! It's easy to see why you're the one in charge. You relied on sheer might while shunning intellect and cunning. That is what led to your downfall, Lubu. I lost to someone weaker than me. It's something called strategy, Lubu. Someone like you, who depends on physical strength, will never beat me. Then tell me, what would happen if you add my strength to this thing you call strategy? Huh. So you wish to pledge service to me? <sighs> Master Tsao Lubu is a beast. Don't let desire for strength deceive you. Oh, damn you, Liu Bei! Oh! Oh! <sighs> Farewell, Lubu. Let your pride in being the best die with you here in Xiaoping. <sighs> Master Cao Cao, you have my most profound gratitude for your aid. That was my best chance to finally slay Lu Bu. There is no need for you to thank me. That may be so, but I owe you a debt nonetheless. My word is my bond. Guan Yu, I wish to speak with you for a moment. I would like for you to join my cause. Your might is equal to that of the fearsome Lu Bu. I could use one of your skill and valor. I am not worthy of such praise. But my place is alongside my sworn brother Liu Bei. I am afraid I must decline your generous offer. Liu Bei does not even begin to comprehend the magnitude of your greatness. I care not what others may think. I will serve and support my brother. Forgive me. Cao Cao, don't grow too fond of Guan Yu. He will never agree to serve alongside us. I wouldn't be so quick to give up on him. There is still a possibility that we may be able to use him. Even if only for a short while. Master Cao Cao, Yuan Shao will defeat Gong Sun Zun before long. As such, 
It is only a matter of time before he makes his move south. Liu Bei enjoys the service of the mighty Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. We should utilize them to defeat Yuan Shu while we still have the chance. Indeed, Guo Jia. The showdown for Hua Bei draws near, meaning we must quickly subdue the Central Plains in order to prepare for our own confrontation with Yuan Shao.
My lord, Yuan Shu has named himself Emperor and is marching north. So, Yuan Shu has made his move. Although facing him will expose us to Yuan Shao, we cannot leave him be. Then you must allow us to join your cause, Master Cao Cao. This is our opportunity to repay the debt we owe you from Sha Pi. Besides, I cannot forgive one who would take the Emperor's name in vain. I think that is a brilliant proposal. Master Cao Cao, we should agree to accept Master Liu Bei's assistance in this matter. Rumor has it that the current ruler of the Sun family, Sun Se, is considering leaving you in Shu's shadow. We should consider working together with him. Very well. Guo Jia and Shun Yu, I shall leave the details to you. We will defeat Yuan Shu once and for all. We shall slay the self-proclaimed Emperor Yuan Shu. All units, forward!
Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Wow, that was awesome! I get worked up just watching you! Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Is there... the time to attack yeah I don't really like defending but I'll do what needs to be
Raise your blades against me. I am your emperor. Someone slay these perfidious fools. Time to attack! in the enemy greatly. All units march! Take defensive positions! I need to meet with Master Yuan Shao and reach a peace. so badly in my duty. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Wow, you're really fighting hard, aren't you? Huh! <laughs> 
Yeah. Leo Bay and his men. How I loathe them. Sweep them aside.
the supply unit hasn't arrived yet. I wonder if something bad happened to it. It'll play into enemy hands if I leave camp now. But maybe I can at least scout out what's happening. On your part, choosing to come through here. Hand over your skills. What do you think you're doing? That stuff belongs to us! Yeah. Ow! Oh, how did we let such a perfect target slip through our fingers? Hooray! Now we can be sure that everybody has something to eat. Looks like the supply unit is all right. I'm so happy everyone's okay. Okay, our preparations are complete. Now we can move to the attack. Such a simple feat. Nice going, keep it up. to defend this area. Thank <laughs> you. 
take defensive positions. I hereby claim this area as my own. Set Disgrace than to flee before the enemy. This time he paid for his contemptible behavior. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate them. An incredible display of skill! Definitely special. Nice going. Keep it up.
Report! Lord Yuan Yin has been defeated! Jian Ye has fallen to Sun Se's forces. Ugh. The enemy is coming with ever greater momentum. Strengthen the defenses in preparation for an invasion. I see the truth. Lord Zhou Yu will one day form the backbone of the Sun family. A skilled diplomat, and highly trusted by Lord Sun Tzu. Not to mention his musical talent and handsome face. Ah, there's no beating him, is there? He'll be leading the Sun officers soon. Remember that guy who said he chose Sun Jian as his lord and upped and left? I wonder how he's doing. Why the fascination with Lord Sun Jian anyway? He said he reminded him of his son, Jian. Threaded with rivers everywhere. If you feel like cooling down, head to the riverbank. <laughs> it's pretty muggy around these parts, but the breeze does sometimes blow in off the sea. It feels absolutely amazing. In its buildings and pavilions, will cram soldiers and civilians. Jian Ye will soon host millions. Jian Ye was known as Jing Ling during the era of King Wu of Chu. That was a long time ago now, though. I guess it's pretty irrelevant. If you go east from here in Jianye, you'll be able to see the ocean. Marine trade is a key part of the economy here. You need a horse? If you need me.
Hefei has a long and rich history and has been a key position for many years. Those in power still value it highly even today. Be that as it may, the place is so muddy. I tripped and fell over and my clothes are still all sticky and horrible. Hefei is located between the Shengjiang and the Hanshui. Follow the west tributary to Shouchun or cross the river south to Jianye.
positions. Attack! Hey. Crush the enemy's main camp! Hey. All right! You said one, this battle! Oh, hey. This is our chance to push the enemy lines back. Follow me! Astonishing! You are truly a sight to behold! to behold. Go for 
for now. Don't think you've won. My ambition cannot be stopped. How did you overcome so many? You bring me hope. Just watching you! Now, take defensive positions! Skill. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Set! Yo! Set! Yo! 
Say, you are truly a sight to behold. See? So See? Such great strength. So pulling back for now. I marvel at your skills. Inconceivable! I am the Emperor! How could I be forced to endure such an outrage? I don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done! You are still pathetic, even after calling yourself Emperor. You will never have what it takes to rule this land. My lord! Yuan Shao has defeated Gong Sun Zan in battle. I have conquered the Central Plains, and now Yuan Shao has control of Hebei. We may have no greater opportunity than the present. It seems the time for our inevitable showdown has finally arrived. Yes. Yuan Shao may outnumber us on paper, but I have faith in the superior talent of my men. We shall return to Xuchang. We must begin making preparations for this final battle. Yuan Shu has been slain. Now we can turn our attention to Yuan Shao. Ah! <coughs> it seems like I don't have much time left. However, I just need to hang on for a little bit longer. That cough. I knew it. You're... Hey. What's with the scary look on your face? I'm just a little tired, that's all. Master Guo Jia. Ha! I guess you're a little too smart to fall for that line. Master Shunyo, your supposition is correct. However, I ask that you please keep this between us. My time here is limited. That is why I must see this through to the end. I would appreciate it if you could allow me to realize this one final wish. I understand. If that is your wish, Master Guo Jia. Thank you. I knew that I could count on you. Oh! 
Salvation! You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms! Now, just as we planned, we'll slip the poison into his drink. Yes, that is the first step. Master Ma Tang and Master Liu Bei are ready to make their move as well. This is our chance to punish this traitor for seeking to bask in the Emperor's glory! I see you have shown your true colors at last, Dong Cheng. Hmm. What is the meaning of this commotion? Father, may I have a moment? We have captured somebody who is part of a plot to have you assassinated. 
What? Dong Cheng? How dare you? Cao Cao, you are a servant of the Emperor, yet you ignore His Highness and act as if you rule the land yourself. You think... Perhaps you think you are the Emperor, or that you will take his place. You must be punished for your boundless arrogance. I have no intention of becoming Emperor. The land may require the Imperial Throne, but the Yellow Turbans and Dong Zhuo have shown that that alone is not enough. Therefore, I must bring a sense of reason to this land that, combined with the influence of the throne, will save this land. That is the path I choose to follow. I do not expect someone like you to understand. However, I cannot allow you to interfere either. Take him away. Father, it appears that Liu Bei was also involved with Dong Cheng's plot. However, Liu Bei has already fled Xu Chong, and even gone so far as to abandon his lands in Xiao Pei. Hm, he truly is a small man, in both size and ambition. Cao Cao, see how they repay your kindness? If you leave them be, they will surely turn against you again in the future. You must eliminate them now, while we still can. No, we are fine to deal with them later. Liu Bei's only choice is to flee to Yuan Shao. There he will likely be used as a sacrificial pawn in a much larger game. We can deal with him when we face Yuan Shao. Even if he lives, there is nowhere for him to go. He will not be a problem for you any longer, Master Cao Cao. Hmm. Shahu Dun, Shun Yu, there is merit to what both of you are saying. Do I chase after Liu Bei, or do I make preparations to face Yuan Shao? I must give the matter some thought. Yuan Shao is using his superior numbers to his advantage. Our defensive lines along the Yellow River have fallen as have Bai Ma and Ian Jing. That means that Pu Yang has been isolated. I am also hearing word that Sun Se has conquered Jian Dong and is planning to follow up on Yuan Shao's movements by invading Yan province. So, should we withdraw for the time being and look to regroup our forces? No, it will not be easy for Sun Se to invade Yan province. He conquered Jiang Dong with alarming speed. As such, he has created many enemies. He will be too focused on his immediate surroundings to make a move now. Mm. What do you think, Master Shun Yo? Care to share your wisdom on the matter? If we continue to focus on defense, we will never come out ahead in this battle. Therefore, I think we should target the enemy's positions at Bai Ma and Yan Jin. Bai Ma and Yan Jing are defended by Yang Liang and Wen Chao. Although they are some of Yuan Shao's fiercest officers, their units are woefully undermanned. We should abandon Puyang and leave the bare minimum of troops to defend our main camp. The rest of our forces will strike the enemy and create a path to victory. I have made my decision. Shunyo, we will put our destiny in your hands. Reform the units, and leave a minimal squad to defend the main camp at Guandu. Everybody else, I want you to rendezvous at Bai Ma and Yanjin. Lord Cao Cao. And then eliminate Yuan Shao. We can overcome our inferior numbers through intellect and bravery.
from my father. An eye-opening performance. I hereby claim this area as my own. Such results. Overcome this threat. Now I can finally return to my mission to strengthen the supply units. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. <laughs> Leaving this place undefended is dangerous. I shall see to its defense. Sing! 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 
going to defend this position. Saving our lives, if that's what it takes. Conquer this land.
impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Yeah, so you come, fools of Chow Chow. Yajin will be your graveyard. So, What are you doing with those weapons? I'm stopping you right here. I tie archers. Stop them, no matter the cost. Report! Raima has been taken by Cao Cao's forces. What? Dam Yang let them better him? See, we must fight harder for Yan Jin. See, so. You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms! Now is my time! Let us ride like the wind! This area as my own. I tire of you. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Cousin, you truly are the one that will conquer this land. For me, you are powerless. Yeah. 
breaking through. What did you just say? Ah, very well. I'll take care of this myself. I tire of you. We have no choice. We have to abandon Yan Jin. How powerless I feel. My ambition cannot be stopped. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. Report! Yuan Shao's man, Shu Yu, wishes to surrender. He awaits word in Wu Chao. Shu Yu's surrender may change things. We should hurry to Wu Chao. You have trusted my words and come to see me. The advantage lies with Master Cao Tao. I will surrender. I bring with me a gift. I will tell you the weakness in Yuan Shao's army. Here in Wu Chao, it's a large-scale storehouse. As you know, provisions are vital for any army. Were the storehouse to burn, for example, that would be a major blow. are attacking how do they know about this place see see Sing! 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 Sing!
Such results. So Without Wu Chao, it will be difficult for them to maintain such a large army. We must quickly defeat the enemy officer and start the fire. by your skill. Such results. Excellent. I marvel at your skills. It will be gone. Who shall won't hold our supply? Soon the ash. Supplies have burned up. What now? We can't fight without food. Ah, what a resplendent battle the enemy has fought. I have no choice but to surrender. <laughs> I shall head for Guandu immediately. I must do what I can to blossom as a beautiful officer of Cao Cao's army. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. I foresaw greatness in you from the very beginning.
great fighting, my lord. I can only dream of obtaining such results.
Set! are truly amazing. Damn. You are an inspiration to us all. Yeah.
Your abilities are truly amazing. You are an inspiration to us all. We've lost the midpoint base. Master Yuan Chao, my apologies. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Young, Wen Shu, the UN army is amazing. Lord Tian Fang. Nice to see a friendly face. We fled for all we're worth from Yuan Shao. Yuan Shao is readying his siege weapons. Things will be bad if they reach Guandu. I have a friend who runs a tavern in Ye. He might be able to help you.
To the west of Ye is Mount Wu Tai, beyond which lies Mount Hung. Legend has it Mount Hung was created from the body of a god named Panggu. The historic town of Ye, stony ancient capital, has many a hidden alleyway. You could never map it all. <laughs> ah, it's so cold. I feel like I might freeze solid. Yeah. I'm just another soldier, making my way. Lord Yuan Shao is central to these times now. He holds more power than even Lord Cao Cao. The two were friends growing up. How dramatic for them now to be fighting. Can I get some of that drama? Just a little? Lord. Yeah. Covered in a delightful blanket of snow, but there's just something otherworldly about the snow. So you've met with my friend. I've heard tales of these weapons too. A merchant is the one who told me about them. Talk to him for more details. Yuan 
Young. Hey, watch it. Keep your voice down. The weapon is real. It really is. However, even I don't know the details. Talk to a court lady of the UN family. Siege weapons? Yes, they have them. I've been inside the UN castle many times. You want to do something about them? I can probably help you with that. But first, I have a request for you. I need you to find my missing cat. My fluffy darling, thank you for finding her. You can leave the weapons to me. I know just who to ask to loosen a few screws. <laughs> Am I bad for helping to bring down my lord? Keep this a secret, please. Such a simple feat. by the wolves! Please, please drive them off! Thank 
you. You're the savior of our village. Please, take this reward. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. One of Yuan Shao's men? We can talk then, if you like. Oh! You want to defeat Yuan Shao? Good! Prove you have the strength then! There's a place nearby to test your courage. Do so, 
and we'll aid you.
proven your strength and your courage. We will side with you. Thinking of fighting Yuan Shao makes my blood boil. I'll rampage through Guandu. Such a simple feat. I claim this area as my own. Yeah.
I claim this area as my own. See?
right. See. Watch out for attacks on the road to Guangdu. Men, keep your guard up. So. certainly knows how to struggle feebly on. Call in reinforcements and crush the enemy! Report! Our midpoint base has fallen. We can't hope for reinforcements now. What have you been up to, Cao Cao? Never mind! We will simply have to destroy the enemy with the resources we already have! Ah! The supply unit has arrived! Rejoice, everyone! The fight goes on! That takes care of the necessary preparations. Now, we can move to the offensive. My lord is disturbingly weak and has no future. I have a feeling I would be better off serving Master Cao Cao instead. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. For me, you are powerless. The Three Kingdoms. Stop! 
Because I expect nothing less from my father. An eye-opening performance. Results. Yeah. You are amazing, Uncle. Stop! 
impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. Amazing, Uncle. No could Sokso's meager forces overcome our noble army? No, this is impossible! I refuse to believe it! With this, the Master has secured all of Hebei. Everyone, give a victory cry! This victory has opened a path forward for our Lord. My only regret is that I will not live to see where it leads. Long live Lord Cao Cao! Lord Cao Cao, hooray! This victory alone is not enough to end the chaos. We must seek out and punish all who oppose us. Easy, Eugene. We have defeated our greatest enemy in Yuan Shao. Allow the men to rest and celebrate for at least a day. Yes, my lord. As you command. Mm. Everybody, listen up. We have defeated Yuan Shao to become the single largest force in the land. We are ready to begin our quest to unite the land. However, the fight to come will be nothing like we've ever seen before. Hard and fraught with peril. However, that is of no concern to us now. Tonight, we will celebrate our victory in order to refresh both our minds and bodies. Just you wait, Yuan Shao. The path I have laid. The battles yet to come. I will utilize them to bring an end to the chaos with my own hands, and create a new world order for all to enjoy. Master Shen Yu, your work at Guandu was spectacular. Your exploitation of Yu and Chao's weakness in that battle was exceptional. No. My humble contribution was nothing compared to your own Master Guojia. At Guandu, it just so happened that I was the one the enemy leaked that information to. After that, I just used the information to give our Lord the very best plan I could think of. You don't allow yourself enough credit, but I guess I should have expected that of you. I, standing in front of people and detailing a battle is just not me. I have no problems with just acting, though. I just can't be like you or Master Yu. Or be like Master Jia Xu. Hey. Hi. Oh yeah. I hear someone saying my name and it turns out to be you, Master Shun Wu. It looks like you talk a lot when you drink. Master Jia Xu. <laughs> Sorry for butting in. I guess I can go do my thing somewhere else. Uh, hmm. A small interruption. A great plan. Your ability to startle people is truly exceptional. <sighs> I can't hold a torch to Master Joshu. 
That does put me in a difficult position. I had planned to have you take over for me one day. Master Gojia. No, it's nothing. You have your own strengths, especially when it comes to... Anyway. I really like that you accompany me when I'm drinking. I couldn't ask for a better friend than you. Yes. I will stay with you as long as you need me. 